morning. It's Natasha with SoulByNat.com and Virtual Properties Realty here. And I am headed to McDonough, Georgia this morning. And I'm headed there for a home inspection. I'm actually attending this home inspection this morning for my buyers. They are back in New York. Why are they back in New York? Because that's where they live. They're actually relocating to Georgia from New York. They're super excited. How are they working this out? How are we making this work? So they came in town last week. They were here for business. Um, we scheduled a day. We actually scheduled a day and we packed that day um, with homes to see. And I'm gonna do a separate video about that with tips on if you are relocating, how to make the most of your showing trip and how to plan that out. Um, we scheduled, we had like 12 properties scheduled to see that day. And that is a lot. And, and we did it. And it started out good. And then it started going <laughs> downhill. It started looking a little bleak with the houses that we were seeing. And then we got there and it was the one. They both loved this house. It was the one. And yes, everything worked out. Put in the contract, got on the contract before they left. So we saw the house on a Tuesday. We had the offer submitted on a Wednesday. We had some countering. Everything was official and they were binding and under contract by like Friday night. Um, so today is Wednesday. We are doing the home inspection today. And John, no, nah, it won't. Right, here, here, it's, gonna um, fly, it's gonna fly itself. I got me a helper out here. What today. am I doing? So you use this is yeah, yeah. You are good. So back, back up and down, right, and then that's sideways. Spinning in circles. Oh my goodness. But yeah, it won't crash. Let's see if she. Let's see if we can find it. There you go. You see the see the drone up there. Okay. But you can see what you're looking at. Okay. On the camera. Oh. Yeah. So you can pan it. Oh, this is so. Yeah. And that's how you get a little closer. Yeah, and it'll tell you your feet. So you 57 feet from that. Your height, your depth. Um, so I tell you all that stuff. Oh, but yeah, yeah, the reason I got into the drone thing is because I got on a roof that was a little bit too tall one day and I was scared to get down. Like I had it, uh, I had it bungee cord and everything and it slipped on me. Uh, and I went by the drone the next day. This is so neat. But it's, it's the same. <laughs> I'm looking for that cockpit right on the plumbing boot itself so I can get that close. Wow. Without I even have to climb on the roof, right? I take a picture and say that this is how it should be. Okay. Yeah. I'm out Roof vents good, so I can get all these angles of the roof, and then I can zoom in later on if I want. So that's a 30-year architectural single-style roof. I can check my gutters right if it was big trees around here. I'm gonna go get a good close-up on those. Get nice and clean gutters. So, yeah. Now, if it's a ranch, I'm gonna get my ladder. I got a 28-foot ladder. I'm gonna get up there and check all that stuff. I can see the chimney cap, mm -hmm. right? Uh, make sure it's not rusted. It's a few things. It's a few things technology play good for. Some things I don't like, but when I can make sure I go home safe without falling in somebody's driveway. Right. It's worth it. Do videos and everything. Wow. So okay. What I actually wanna do is put video in my report. Okay. So like say I get a leak, right? Like a video to leak to add it to my report. Okay. So just to steal a picture because it's hard to show a leak on a photo. If I can record it and then go ahead and add that 